In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build a powerful, fully automated workflow that turns a simple product photo into multiple scroll-stopping, ad-ready visuals using N8N, Telegram, and OpenAI. We'll start by sending a product photo through a Telegram bot, then automatically analyze that image with OpenAI's vision model to understand details like lighting, composition, and camera angle. From there, the workflow generates creative ad concepts and uses OpenAI's image generation API to bring those ideas to life, all without you lifting a finger after setup. The final AI-generated ad images are sent right back to the Telegram chat, ready for review or posting. And here's the cool part, by adjusting the prompt just slightly, you can even generate text overlays on your product image, making your creative outputs more engaging and perfectly suited for ads. Toward the end, I'll also show you how to polish your workflow to adding sticky notes so it's clean, professional, and ready to share, reuse, or even sell as a production-grade solution. Let's dive in and build it together. After walking you through the demo, let's dive in and start building the actual workflow. We'll begin by creating a brand new workflow inside N8N. The first step is setting up a Telegram trigger node. This will listen for all incoming messages from users. But before this node can do its job, we need to connect it to our Telegram bot by creating a credential. So let's go ahead and create a new Telegram credential. To do that, we'll follow the official N8N documentation to create a Telegram bot and retrieve an access token. I've already completed this step, so I've got a fresh bot and a valid access token ready to go. Now, let's plug that token into the Telegram trigger node and give the credential a clear, meaningful name. Next, let's test our new bot connection. We'll click the test step and then head over to the bot and either send a message or simply hit start. Immediately, the Telegram trigger pulls in the new message. From now on, anytime a user sends a message, this trigger will automatically update, which is perfect for processing the next steps in real time. Now that the trigger is working, we'll drag in another Telegram node, this time the get file node, because in our use case, we want to retrieve product photos sent by users. To make sure we're pulling the correct image, we'll test the trigger again, but this time, we'll only send a photo. Once we do that, Telegram sends back a list of file objects, each with a different resolution. We'll select the highest resolution version from that list and pass its file ID into our get file node. Then hit test step button. All right, make sure to select the right Telegram credential before testing this node. Go ahead and click download. We can now see the actual photo file that was just sent by the bot. All right, perfect. Now, to start designing ad creatives, we need to understand the product image itself. That includes analyzing image types, camera angles, lighting styles, and background details. This step is crucial. The better we understand the original photo, the more relevant and high quality our creative output will be. To do this, we'll use the OpenAI Analyze Image node. First, fill in your OpenAI API credentials and choose a model. GPT-40 works well here. Then, input a prompt asking the model to extract key details from the image. such as style, lighting, background, and camera angle. Also, make sure the node is set up to accept a data file as input. But before we can test this node, we need to convert the Telegram file into a proper image format. By default, Telegram returns files with a MIME type of octet stream, which OpenAI Vision can't process. So we'll add a function node to convert the file type to JPEG. You can grab the conversion code from the community lesson and paste it in. And just like that, the file is now ready to be analyzed. Let's test the OpenAI node again. And awesome. We now have a detailed analysis of the image's properties. Next up, we want to generate creative photo prompts based on the original image. But before doing that, 
We'll insert an edit fields node to specify how many creative outputs we want. For this demo, we'll go with two. Now we'll combine the analysis and the desired output count and pass them into an AI agent node. For the user prompt, we drag in the photo description from the analysis. Then for the system prompt, we paste in a prompt template from the community. This tells the agent exactly how to generate high quality, engaging creative photo ideas based on the original. We also define the number of creative outputs in this case too. And provide an example output format to guide the model. Make sure to select a language model like Chat OpenAI. and toggle the output formatting option so we can set up a proper output parser. To ensure consistency, we tell the parser to expect a JSON object with a list of prompts. Once tested, the AI agent returns a clean output object containing all our creative prompts. Now we need to split that list into individual prompts, so we add a split out node to separate each item. Once everything is set, Let's hit the test step to see how it works. All right, the AI agent returns a single field called output, and inside it, we have a list of creative prompts. These follow the exact structure we defined earlier in the output parser using our JSON example. The split out node helps us extract just the list of prompts from inside the output object, removing the outer wrapper, we can clearly see that we're now working with a clean array of prompt strings, ready to be processed one by one. With our creative prompts in hand, it's time to fetch the original photo again, using another Telegram get file node. Just like before, we extract the file ID from the trigger. Alright, select your credential, then hit the test step button. Since we have two branches from the split prompts, Telegram will fetch the photo twice, once for each flow. Now each flow includes a creative prompt and the original photo. Perfect, we're ready to generate images using OpenAI's image generation API. Before that, we need to convert the photo's mime type to JPEG again, just like earlier. Okay, we now have two JPEG photos. Then we'll use a loop over items node to process each creative prompt in sequence. This loop goes through each creative prompt and its corresponding original photo, sending them to the OpenAI Image Generation API one by one. Inside the loop, we configure an HTTP request node for a post request to the Edit Image API endpoint. Be sure to use your own OpenAI access key and verify your account if needed to access GPT Image 1. In the request body, we attach the original image as binary data and add the creative prompt we generated earlier. The input data field name of the input will be data by default. As we mentioned earlier, to generate a creative ad image, we need a combination of the original photo and a creative prompt. Next, let's execute the previous nodes so we can grab and drag the creative prompt from the split out node. This ensures the prompt matches the correct photo in each flow. Then, we set the model field to GPT image 1 so the API knows which image model to use. After the image generation request is complete, OpenAI responds with a base 64 encoded image string, usually found inside a specific field in the return data. To turn that into a usable image file, we'll use the convert to file node. Now, go ahead and fill in the required fields mapping the exact location of the base64 string from the HTTP response. We'll see it clearly when testing. Hit test step. And there it is. We see a base64 string with a specific field name in the response data. 
So we simply tell the convert to file node exactly where to extract that base64 value from the input structure. And once that's done, boom, we get a proper photo file output ready to preview. Awesome. That's one image done. But remember, we have two. So we connect the convert to file node back to the loop over items node, which will repeat the process for the second prompt. Each loop generates and prepares an output image. Finally, to deliver the result, we send each photo back to the Telegram user using a Telegram send node. Select the correct credential and map the chat ID from the trigger. Don't forget to enable the binary file toggle since we're sending an actual image. All right, finally, let's hit test workflow. Then in the Telegram bot, we send a new photo to the bot and watch the magic happen. The workflow is triggered, creative prompts are generated, photos are processed, and within moments, both creative photo outputs are sent back to the user. All right, the loop will go through each prompt and original photo one at a time generating a creative ad image for each and sending them back to Telegram one by one. And just like that, awesome. The creative ad photo looks fantastic. To finish, let's give all our nodes meaningful names. This makes the workflow much easier to manage and debug later. Once we finish renaming our nodes, it becomes much easier to understand what each one does at a glance. The workflow is now clean, readable, and simple to maintain going forward. And for a professional touch, drag in some sticky notes to annotate each section. You can group related nodes and use different colors to make everything visually engaging. Once that's done, your workflow will look polished, engaging, and truly professional. For a final polish, you might even add a master sticky note at the top with a summary or guide for the entire workflow. Perfect if you plan to share or sell this setup. And that's it. Your creative ad generation workflow is complete, clean, professional, and production ready. And that wraps up our creative ad image workflow. From receiving a product photo in Telegram, all the way to generating high converting visuals with OpenAI and delivering them back automatically. Now, if you want to take this even further, here's something special. You can grab the full prompt library, the final polished workflow, and a bunch of bonus assets, structured output examples, and behind the scenes extras, all by joining the Zero Two Launch Premium community. Inside, you'll get access to this project and many more automation ready workflows to help you launch smarter, scale faster, and bring your ideas to life with AI. Just head over to the community hub and everything is ready for you to download and use right away. See you there.